Hi everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add functionality to unequip your weapon so that you your mannequin's hands are free uh, for uh, swimming, climbing, whatever you need to do that doesn't have to do with guns. Let's navigate to the drop ability. Um, so you won't find it under your content because it's actually in a gameplay plugin. So click on all and then let's search for drop or most more specifically gameplay ability drop and so we're going to just show this in folder view uh, because we're going to create our new ability also in this folder uh, so let's go ahead and duplicate this one for now we'll use the same logic as the drop weapon does uh, this one we'll just call it unequip weapon I guess technically it's weapons because you just won't have any weapons equipped. Okay. And let's open that up. So all this, this uh, gameplay ability does is um, it gets the active slot and it removes the item from the slot and it removes the weapon instance. And then it cycles to the next available weapon. Um, in our case, we'll just want it to unequip, so not to actually remove the weapon from the player. Uh, but this is good for, for now. Um, yeah, let's just go through here. So this will activate on input triggered. It's not actually hooked to anything right now, so that's why there's no uh, drop weapon functionality um, in Lara when you play. Uh, and then I guess for this one, all we'll change is um, the only thing we'll change is the type of action. Uh, we'll just add another action for unequip. Unequip. Okay. And then you can just click the X to remove the uh, other gameplay tag. Okay. And then uh, our next step, let's just go ahead and actually bind this to a key. And also let's give the player the ability to uh, unequip weapons or in this case really just to, to drop the weapon. Okay, so since grenade is already hooked up to all the logic and you can actually use it, uh, I think it's Q on the keyboard, uh, let's just look at its re reference viewer and let's find all its references. So it's under the ability set shooter hero and um, so you'll see, oh, you'll see that the uh, the drop ability is there, um, but it doesn't actually have an input mapping context. So that's where it's uh, it's missing. Um, so we won't touch that. We'll just add a, a granted ability, and it's on equip weapon unequip weapons and then the input tag uh, let's see what the drop weapon one is uh, so it's quick slot drop um, yeah we'll, we'll keep it under the quick slot because uh, the logic will be actually in the uh, slot manager or, or slot component um, yeah so input tag ability quick slot and then let's just add unequip So now the player has the ability to unequip weapons, but it's not bound to any input. Um, so let's just search for the one that the grenade has and how that one is set up. So the input tag, you can right click on it and then search for references. Um, and then you'll see it's uh, in the gameplay ability, uh, the ability set that we already set up, but it's also in the input data shooter game add-ons. So let's browse to that asset. Let's open that up and um, let's add an input action so this one we haven't set up the input action yet uh, but the input tag is on equip is right there and let's see where the grenade input action is so that one it, it can get very crowded very fast um, yeah, so that one is under shooter core content input actions. 
Um, so let's just create a new input action. Um, or we could just duplicate drop weapon. And then this one, we'll just call it input action on equip weapons. All right. And then we will use that one right here. Okay. And then the next step is to actually have the input mapping context set up. So let's go to your grenade one reference viewer. And you can see it's in the input mapping context shooter game gamepad and keyboard mouse. So let's uh, let's open both of those and let's set up a key that will trigger our ability. Okay, so let's just add another one. Oh, I guess I hadn't clicked it right. Uh, so yeah, I just clicked it and then on equip weapons and this one uh i'll use a d-pad down i don't have a gamepad connected to my computer at the moment so i can't use the nice feature where you click it and then you just tap it um yeah and then let's set it up for the keyboard mouse also and for the keyboard mouse i am going to use oh, on equip I'm going to set it as U for on equip. It's not exactly the easiest to, to press with the left hand. Uh, nothing is bound to it. Yeah, so now when I play and I press U, it should uh, drop the weapon. So let's go ahead and play. Okay. So I press U. And you can see that it disappears completely from the quick slot and also from your inventory. But, uh, so what we actually want to do is it just gets unequipped and uh, we don't want it to just disappear. Uh, so open back up your gameplay ability unequip weapons. And you'll see that it, uh, it calls this function remove, I remove item from slot. And uh what we want to do is we want to create our own function so that it just sets the the slot to be minus one and so to be unequipped yeah so if you haven't yet uh just make sure to generate your uh, visual studio project or if you have writer then generate your writer project okay and then let's just navigate to where this uh, function is defined so you can actually double click on this blueprint node and it will open your writer project or your visual studio project so yeah there you go so uh, i call this one swimming tutorial because this is the first part of this tutorial uh, well tutorial two-parter um so like they say you need to learn how to walk before you run um and so for the swimming i needed to uh, unequip the weapons and I figure I'd just make this uh, video. So yeah, it is. you can just click trust and open. Yeah, and it immediately navigated to this function. So I'm, I'm just gonna let it uh, just uh, update the solution. So I'll, I'll get uh, more writer functionality once the project is synced. And another thing, if you have writer and uh, you haven't uh, installed the writer link plugin yet, this will help with code mirroring or um, let's just say like if you if you hover over a class, it'll tell you where it's used in Blueprint. Um, so yeah, where OK, it's an, under the notification and I'm just going to go ahead and install this plugin in this game. All right, so the project has been indexed and the plugin has been installed. Um, it's still updating source files, but as you can see, all the colors are, are back and very nice. And this isn't really the function that we want. Um, what we really want is actually the setting the the slot to minus one. Uh, so, uh, but then the only function that there is uh, that's exposed, uh, I press F12. Um, that ex that's exposed to uh, blueprints is just the set active slot index, um, and then this one is called on the server. 
and but then if you give it a minus one as a new index it will not go in this uh, if statement because your next uh, your your index is not valid so this actually checks if it's greater than or equal to zero uh, so i'm just going to go back um so we need to make our own function um, with the assumption that we just want it to be unequipped um, this this also even if we if we didn't check the that the index was valid it would actually try to unequip the item in the the slot the current slot which is okay uh, but then the problem comes when you try to equip the item in the slot um, because it will check that the item uh, the index is valid and then this will just fail yeah um, so let's just go ahead and create our own function um, I'm just going to duplicate this set active slot index okay because it has all the nice uh, tags or it all has the nice meta spe specifiers that we need and I'm actually going to call this function unequip weapons so unequip weapons and it doesn't actually need an index because we're just gonna set it to minus one and then let's um, if you're using writer it's just alt enter and then generate your definition and what's nice about writer is, is it already knows that if it's a server function it you need to add the underscore implementation which is fantastic um, it's just strange that it it put it put it far away from uh, the um, set active slot um, so I'm gonna move this one so it's just on top of this one so it, it matches up with the header file um, so I'm just gonna move this uh, control X and then control V and we're going to take pretty much all this logic except for equip item and slot um, so I'm just going to remove this it was uh, shift delete to delete the entire line and then the active slot index I want it to be minus one and then the server has to call the unrep active slot index because uh, otherwise it's not called uh, because when it, the active slot index uh, whenever its value changes, it calls on rep active slot index. Um, but that does the uh, the replication or the replicate using it doesn't it, it only gets called on the clients. Um, so uh, let's just see where on rep index is. Or it's in this file. <laughs> it's a bit far. I, I like to put them together. Um, yeah, so. All this does is it updates the quick bar and it's it takes care of pretty much just updating on the UI um, just to indicate that uh, the weapon slot has changed and it is what will make it look like uh, everything's grayed out and the ammo count won't show up anymore because no weapon is currently active okay so since we modified a header file um, let's just go ahead and just close your unreal and we're just going to rerun it from source. Um, I don't know why a new project defaults for Tularia game EO uh, Epic Online Subsystem uh, or system. Um, so you need to just change it back to your uh, project. In my case, it's Swimming Tutorial. Um, and yeah, development editor is good. And let's just run that. All right. Once it's done uh, building and it, the project is open, let's just navigate to unequip weapons. Okay. Um, it already has an authority check, so it will, uh, this whole logic will only run on a server. So if you're a client, it will just end the ability. Um, yeah, so instead of all this logic, um, we're going to call on equip weapons so one thing I've realized uh, is that since this is already uh, running on authority only uh, we we definitely don't need a reliable uh, server RPC 
Um, so we're going to improve our code, uh, but after after testing this here, um, because yeah, unless we need to call unequip weapon from the client in the context that's not an ability that's already replicated um, and runs on server and client, um, you might not need that. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, let's just keep this valid check because this checks if the quick bar component is valid. And after you unequip the weapons, let's end the ability. So I'm going to just delete all these. Okay. Okay, let's see if this works. So now uh, go to the common maps or shooter gym. Okay. And let's just play. Okay, so now when you press U, it will unequip. <laughs> it dies so easily. Okay, but then when you respawn, you still have that weapon. If you unequip, uh, let's just switch God mode on. God. Okay. And if you uh, cycle or if you scroll your wheel, uh, your weapon will be back. And also if you go through a, a weapon spawner, um, you will equip it right away. So yeah, it works and it also works um, it also works multiplayer. So if you want to test multiplayer, just change the uh, change the play mode and play settings. And let's put two people and let's play as a listen server. So then uh, one of them will be a server and one of them will be the client. Okay, and then let's actually play in new editor windows. Oh, <laughs> that will show up on my other screen. Okay. Okay. Then God mode. God mode. Uh, ah, there's a friend. So if you press U, you'll see that the weapon is gone. If you cycle, it's back again. And the same thing for the uh, server. So you, and then you cycle, it comes back. So one last step, uh, let's just change this function uh, from a uh, server RPC to just a blueprint authority only. Kind of what the, uh, what the uh, previous code used to do. Um, so, it used to be, let me just go ahead and open that one. Uh, so drop, so GA drop. Okay. So it used to just be remove item from slot. And this function actually uses this uh, meta specifier, blueprint authority only. And what that means, and it's nice that the, the, the writer reflection code shows this. It just means that the function will only execute from blueprint code if you're running on a machine with the network authority. So on a server, a dedicated server, or a single player game. So this is exactly what we want. Uh, we, we definitely don't need what we had, but it's good to know how to do a server RPC. Um, yeah, so let me just go to our function. It is unequip weapons. And so let's just get rid of these. So all we need are these ones. I guess I could keep the category. Okay, and then we need we just need to update our uh, function. Or, oh yeah, it keeps wanting to go to the generated file. Um, I'm just gonna go here and jump to my error. So now I can just have unequipped weapons. Okay, so it's still there in the old generated code, so uh, we'll just have to rerun to regenerate that uh, generated file. Um, so it shows it shows as though it's already been defined, but that's because uh, we haven't uh, re uh, recompiled, we haven't rebuilt our solution. So let's go ahead and close uh, this, uh, close the editor, and let's uh, let's just rerun. Okay, so let's just hit the debug button or Alt F5. 
And as it builds, we'll see that the error disappears. Okay, it's all ready to go. Okay, uh, let's open back up the uh, blueprint just to see that it updated correctly. Um, so, uh, unequip weapons. Okay, and it actually updated correctly. Uh, so now it, it's nice because it shows server only. Okay. And, um, yeah, so let's test this out. So it, it still has that setting. And it actually remembered where my windows were, which is nice. Oh, boy. Okay, let's implement that god mode. Oh, I was too slow for this guy. Okay, so if I press U, it unequips, and it looks good in the two windows. If I re-equip, it's fine. And then same with the client. I guess we might as well try client to client. And this should also work because uh, the on rep is called for all the clients. So if we add a third person, it should be all okay. Um, yeah, it's just my video memory. Uh, might run out or something. Um, yeah, oh, that third window is all the way over there. Okay. Oh, I am actually a bad guy. Let's see. Okay. So let's see uh, who's the client. Client one and two. Okay, so if I press U, you can see uh, she unequips from everywhere. Oh, multiplayer testing. Uh, yeah. Oh, I must have pressed the C, uh, the control key. Okay, and if that client unequips, everyone sees it also. Yeah, so there you have it. You have uh, a server authority only um, blueprint callable function. Uh, or you can have a, a server RPC uh, function, but we abandoned that one for this one because we already knew it was only going to be called on the server. Um, yeah, so now we know we can unequip. Uh, for next steps, what you could do is you could have a toggle weapon equipped or uh, wording is hard <laughs> you could also uh, so that you can actually remember what was the previous slot index so that you can swap from melee to uh, your last used weapon so i won't cover this but it would pretty much be just a rename and just extra like an extra variable for a previous slot index um, so yeah there you have it now you have a way of having your uh, your mannequins have their hands free for swimming or climbing or any other activity they might do that doesn't involve guns.